it. Two more. Mine! Huh. It makes you wonder, aren't zombies and mummies just the same thing? Huh. No. Completely different. One has a virus and the other's cursed. A human gets bitten by a zombie, turns into one, but a mummy bite, I imagine, is just a bite. Obviously, I'd hope that all Luke, Myra, glad you could make it. Uh, it's not the third Wednesday of the month. But we figured it was an emergency, if you've been witnessing the same stuff we have. Right, so clearly most of you know why we've called this meeting. We're here to discuss our recent involvement in this viral pandemic. W wait a minute now, who's calling this a pandemic? The news. The human news? It's not like we get this stuff off the internet. It's still a credible news source. Don't give in to the latest buzzword adopted to frightening the masses into tuning in. Mankind is easily manipulated. We're better than that. Pandemic. Some of us lived through the plague, and that horrific mess hardly even qualified as an epidemic. All right, in short, more lives being lost than usual. Who's lost? They're still up and about, taking up space. They're not human anymore. You know, empty shell, remnants of their former selves, that sort of crap. And why is that any of our concern? Uh, dwindling food source, noise pollution, the fall of mass production with the decrease in the human population, new dark age. Sometimes I have trouble believing you've been around for a couple hundred years. Centuries longer than you, new breed. Weren't you deported? That was over a hundred years ago. You're like an abandoned dog finding its way back from Eastern Europe. Somebody hand me a steak so we can end this. I'll lop off an arm just so you have to go through the pain of regeneration. Henry's been infected. How? I accidentally fed on one. Henry. Have there been any side effects? Not that we know of, but it's still early. Well, if there's anything I can do. Thanks. But, um, I'll be okay. So like I was saying, I think we need to discuss our new involvement in this pandemic. And I thought we'd come up with a plan and nip it in the bud. This brain trust? It's a start. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I seem to remember that this group came up with the resolution to only feed on Sasquatches as a way to maintain positive relations with mankind. I voted against that. <laughs> we all know how that turned out. Too gamey. It's like eating two-legged venison. And how's the food at the retirement home, Ed? Open buffet. Till this outbreak. The elderly don't travel well, so I had to let most of them go to waste when this hit. They wiped out a nursing home? Survival of the fittest. Slowest were the first to go. Which is sad. Because the zombies don't move that fast to begin with. Like watching turtle races. Where the losing turtle gets mauled to death. Yeah. Man. Back on point. I think we need 24 hour surveillance on Henry here. Like a suicide watch. Oh, thanks, Ed. And with three hours until sunrise, we need to come up with a plan or we're gonna lose 14 hours to the sun resistant. I'm on it. Now, hold, hold on, okay? We, we can't just go aimlessly striking down zombies. We gotta come up with some sort of purpose or plan. I'm assuming the purpose is to lower the general population. A novel, I'm sort of take back the night. Those have no relation at all. Look, I hate to rain on your whole hack and slash parade with my personal problems, but I'd kind of like to know what this virus does to vampires before we just oh, come on! Look, I really appreciate these support group soirees and kumbaya exchange of ideas, but a bunch of zombies just knocked over my car and we're surrounded. What, they got like super strength now? Human. Way to play the diplomat, Annie. We really don't have time to take a vote, Banyan. All right, everyone be safe and try not to decapitate with your hand. Luke, you keep an eye on Henry. 
Thanks, Chief. It's been only 300 years since I had to watch the action from the kids' table. 